welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the first day of Vlogtober, which means I am vlogging every single day in October. Okay, I know it's already the second. Uh, I already missed the first day of Vlogtober by not vlogging on the first. I understand this. You don't need to tell me this. I know how to read a calendar, but life has been crazy. Technology has been crazy. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I lost my camera back in July. And I've been really struggling with how to even film content since then. I have not found my camera, but I did get a new budget-friendly like phone. Literally, I just bought this, not even to use. Like I'm still using my iPhone for all my other stuff. This is literally just to have something to film with. Um, so fingers crossed that the quality, video, audio, all of that is okay. I didn't take my glasses off. One, because I kind of forgot. Two, because I didn't check to make sure my makeup looked great. And three, because I need to be able to read a board, which has a list of all the books I'm going to read to save time. So hopefully there's not a bunch of glare on the glasses. Again, let's cross our fingers. Now, let's just go ahead and talk about what we're going to be doing today. This is going to be my historical fiction-a-thon TBR. I intended on giving you a bunch of recommendations as well. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. One, I don't have time. Two, I didn't prepare enough. I have a lot going on right now, and the fiction of Thumbs Art starts tomorrow. So I am going to link down Bree's video, though, when she did her TBR, because she did a bunch of recommendations, and she is, like, the historical fiction queen. So why listen to me tell you recommendations when you can just go, like, watch her video and let her do that? Um, but if you're interested to see what I'm going to be reading during the fiction of fun, then let's get right into it. So again, if you didn't see my last video, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a major, major glare. We're just going to take the glasses off now. Okay. There you go. So if you didn't watch my last video where I went through the different prompts, again, I'll link that down below. You can watch that. Um, but I'm just going to get right into it. I have four books for six different prompts. So I was able to double up pretty well. So the first one is going to be both my mystery and my book with my favorite color. So again, my favorite standalone color is purple. My favorite, typically I say my favorite colors are red and black. I love red and black together. And so I chose, yeah, I forgot to write down the name of the authors. <laughs> I'm so prepared for this video, guys. Um, so I forgot to write down the name of the authors. So I'm just gonna pop up pictures. I only have one book that I'm going to be physically reading. Everything else is going to be in my ears because again, I'm super busy and I love audiobooks. So I'm gonna just be putting up pictures for you guys. So the first one is Mexican Gothic by the lady that wrote it. <laughs> um, I have heard great and disturbing things about this book. And again, if you know anything about you, about me, you know, I love disturbing crap. So, um, I think that this is really exciting. I do actually have a physical copy. I ordered that from book of the month that is going to be coming soon. Hopefully, um, they're usually pretty good about, it should definitely come by the for the fiction font is finished. So I'm probably going to do that one last. Probably not at first, probably gonna read it last because I wanna wait for the physical book to come in. Partly because I'm probably still only going to listen to it by putting it in my ears. But I have heard a lot of people say that they like to read and listen to it. So I wanna try that out. And apparently something really crazy, gross, disturbing and disgusting happens on page 407, I think. And I literally got the book mostly because I want to be able to go back and see what page 407 is. Um, so I know if this is the disturbing thing or not after I've listened to the majority of the book. So, um, yeah, so I'll have a physical copy very soon. The next one, so that covers my two, two of my prompts. The next one is going to be a book that has been on your TBR for a while. And that is going to be The Thirteenth Tale by, I think this is, no, I don't know who that is. I was going to say a name, but I forget because I watched all Bree's videos and she talks about a couple of different books and I can't remember if they're by the same author or not because she also talks about things in jars. And that's on my TBR, but I decided I wanted to read The Thirteenth Tale because I was reading a description and it said something about Jane Eyre and it kind of being like gothic and I love Jane Eyre and I think it's also about like a writer and I am a writer. So I just thought, oh my gosh, this book should be perfect. Brie recommended it. It's historical. It looks kind of like, you know, creepy kind of on the cover and it's about a writer and it's got Jane Eyre, which I mean, hello. We know how much I love Jane Eyre. I have no idea what that has to do with the story at all. 
at all. I think it might just have somebody said Mick Jenner vibes. I don't know. It could have nothing to do with it. But I saw it in the description. It made me excited. I destroyed my bookcase. We're good. This video is so weird, and I don't think I'm gonna edit like any of it. Um, because why? Why not? This is me, guys. Okay, so this is the only one I have for a physical uh, copy. I actually really struggled with figuring out what I was going to read for my middle grade because I don't read middle grade. It's just not my thing. But I know a lot of people that too, and they really love middle grade. I do have small kids, so why not? And so I was trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out. When I was cleaning my room yesterday, and I came across this book, and I was like, oh my god, hello, spooky, Halloween, nostalgic, middle grade. Hocus Pocus. So this is the Hocus Pocus and the all new sequel. I think I'm just going to do the first one, which is Hocus Pocus, and then maybe read the all new sequel towards the end of the month after the fiction are gone. This counts though, because it is middle grade, it is spooky, and it takes place now, but it also takes place at the beginning. It's like, you know, the Sanderson sisters. So even though, yes, most of it takes place in present day, the first chapter is futuristic so there you freaking go it is historical okay it is historical because i said it's historical so i'm going to read this and i'm going to love it and it's going to be a historical fiction middle grade book okay do not question me on this it's my challenge i can do it which brings me <laughs> to my last book <laughs> so i literally struggled hard i could have just picked a book that was taking place in the 1940s. That's when my Nana was born, um, was somewhere in the 1940s. So I could have picked anything. I could have picked a, you know, a World War II book. I could, I could have picked anything. I wanted to stick with this uh, spooky vibe stuff. So instead, I wanted to combine my Agatha Christie uh, book, which is the bonus prompt, with the Grandparents Decade prompt. I couldn't figure out how to do it. I have looked at so many different things and Googled, what year was this story taking place by? You know, like, what year did this story take place in? And I couldn't find one. But I found that, and then there were none by Agatha Christie, which is apparently one of the best she's ever done. In the first chapter, one of the characters says something about how this story took place or this thing happened four years ago, and that was in 1939, which would mean that she's in 1943, which means she's in the 40s. It's gonna count, because somebody said that they were in 1940, in the 1940s, and then the rest of the story takes place in 1939. All right? It's a stretch. It's a very, very, it's a very big stretch. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It is fine. Okay, you guys? It's my, it's my challenge and breeze and curses. So if I want to stretch my prompts, I'm going to stretch my prompts and I'm going to make it fit because I have a lot going on and I want to fit all these books in. So I'm going to download them all onto Scribe and put them in my little ears and listen and chat with you guys starting tomorrow. I will be much better than I was in February at vlogging everything going through. Assuming that this camera works and I think so far it does. I just have to start remembering to look over in the little camera area and not at my face. Anyways, I hope that you had fun during this weird, rambly, caffeine-filled video. I hope it looks good. I hope it sounds good. And I hope you join me and my friends tomorrow for the Historical fiction a where we are going to read lots of historical books, and in my case, lots of spooky historical books. Um, and there will be more videos coming out uh, yeah, starting tomorrow, every day for the rest of October, there will be something from this girl. So make sure you uh, subscribe down below, hit the bell for notifications if you are not already subscribed. So go write some words and read a historical book. And I will see you guys, I can't even say really, really soon, because I will see you guys tomorrow.